so I already started. I just wiped, washed my face. You see, it's kind of like pink. And once it's dry, dry. What is that? Where'd you come from? Once it's dry, dry, I'll start putting my creams and stuff on. I hate that. Like, you weren't there a few minutes ago. I don't know. It's like you can clearly see all my stuff now. Because I feel like it cleanses everything out of your skin. You see? I'm mostly left with, like, the dark marks. But we'll fix that. So, I already put some of the books up there and all of that. This is like the newest book I bought, War Gods. I read it online and I got interested in it and I just bought the book. But yeah, I'm putting the books up. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to put these books up. I like this book, but I only like really love it's like different um, stories. I don't know because I like other boys and I like I always read Ambition because it's a good story to me. Uh, and Ambition is like this girl has a best friend and you know how your friend sometimes get invited to the popular people you don't but your friend does because she's got that look or that thing going on so her friend was getting noticed by the popular people and you know she was invited to a party and they were pretty much trying to make fun of her i guess like get one of the popular boys to try to talk to her and make it seem like they liked her but the girl kind of figured it out quick like he's really popular he looks really good he doesn't talk to girls like me and she was looking at her friend like i can't believe she you know i guess the friend didn't know till it was happening but she still didn't stop it or anything so she left went to a um went to a club met a boy the boy was nice listened to her problems and that's backwards ain't it the boy was nice listened to her problems and stuff and um you know he hung out with her and the more and more her friend was just you know just i guess like wasn't trying to be real close to her and stuff and at one point she was like let's hang out let's you know just be with each other and um she was like maybe she went to this uh she went back to the club with the boy and the boy he was a vampire so he bit her and um dragged her out of the club nobody really noticed and she was like what are you doing why are you doing this to me and he was like just think of it as i'm choosing you we get lonely out here in the cold and you know i'm choosing you but you have to give me a gift and she was like i don't have nothing to give you i live in a trailer park like i don't have anything and he was like oh it's not that type of gift and then it goes for it and you're like what gift did she have to give him did she turn him down and then um he set fire to her best friend's house she ended up saying yes she'll spend the night with her he set fire to her best friend's house and i guess um when she opened the door and let him in, he told her to go to the car. She went to the car and waited for him. And he just killed everybody in the house. Um, I'm assuming the housekeeper may have lived with the girl. She may not have. But he killed mom, dad, homegirl. And because she was supposed to be in the house, you know, everybody gonna think she's dead too. And she's leaving her dad. So she ended up getting changed by him and i guess kept but the whole thing was she had to murder her <laughs> she had to murder her best friend just to do that it's crazy what people do
I like it because that seemed more realistic. Like, I could imagine somebody killing their whole entire friend for a boy. You can do it for less. And what is it? Um, so, I went away and um, washed my face, did all that. I said that, but I also went to go look at Juice's channel. Is she Jenna Juice? I want to say she calls herself Cassetto. I don't want to mess up her name. I said it, but I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, you know? So anyway, um, I'm supporting her. Y'all seen in my last thing, I was talking about how great they were and how amazing that um, they can co-parent and get it together and be, you know, one and all that. And I uploaded it on um, Thanksgiving because I finished, um, every time I finish um, the voiceover, I upload the video. So like I have a video now. But once I do the voiceover, I'll upload it. And I'll do the voiceover after I finish this video and pick my son up. I'll do the voiceover at night, upload it later that tonight. And then I'll upload this one. Regardless, on Thanksgiving Day, right after I uploaded it, I seen something happening. I, and she had up there, he's gone again. And I was like, what? And I clicked on it. And man, so he left her again, um, and left her with the kids, I guess, was bumming it on her couch because he didn't have nowhere to stay and just dipped off. Um, man, talk about speaking too soon. So she was angry and rightfully so. She was, you know, she she loves him. You could tell she still loves him. She still hurt. <laughs> but, you know, she trying to be strong and and you know how some of us can be. We be strong and we try not to let any of it like it don't mean nothing. It is nothing. Like we've all done that. I did that when I was talking to my um ex husband. I was like, You didn't mean nothing to me. I ain't love you no way. And you know, of course that's lies because I was with him for nine years. You don't be with somebody for almost a decade and not love them. That's crazy. But um well some people can. I I didn't. I lied, you know, and you can tell when some people just say stuff. But I'm pretty sure she's over it. She took him back publicly. And that's hard to do. Take somebody that hurt you and cheated on you and did a bunch of stuff. Take them back publicly. And then to have them do it all over again and prove you. It depends on what you think. Nine times out of this hand, I think if somebody cheats on me, they will do it again. Because you already knew what was at stake and you did it anyway. So what makes me think that next year is going to be different or you're not going to look at some girl across the street and be like, oh, she's not worth my family when the other chick was. So some people see it that way and some people are like, you know, it was a once up, they made a mistake and I'm just going to forgive them and they better not do it again. And it happens again. Sometimes it don't, but that's rare. A lot of times it happens again. I felt bad for her. Because she was hot. She was mad. And people were like, you should get off the internet. You shouldn't voice it. And it's like, yes, she should. That's crazy. And I hate when people do that. I hate when people be like, don't make it public. You know what I'm saying? You should get off the internet. You shouldn't do this. You, you ain't right. Because first of all, if they can publicly embarrass me, I can publicly defend myself and I can publicly say what I want to defend myself. Um, like I put on my last thing, being the bigger person sometimes feel like just letting somebody disrespect you and that's not it. That's not right. Um, when I had to 
go through everything somebody was like yeah y'all shouldn't be bringing this to the internet because i brought it straight to the internet because like i said he was going around telling people all kinds of stuff and i was like absolutely not and she was like you shouldn't bring it to the internet yes i should i'm not gonna let somebody publicly embarrass me and have all my family and friends thinking i did some stuff that they did that's crazy you sound crazy if you don't like what you see get off my page go look at something else but absolutely not. I'm going to defend myself and speak my truth. And that's what I did. And I know I was the bigger person in a lot of things and try to handle it legally and right and stuff. And I still got crapped on. And to this day, I still harbor anger because I didn't get to release my anger or what I wanted to say to him, to him. Because I was trying to be the bigger person so much. Which is why I'm going to get therapy. Because I still got that anger built up. Because I want to release it. And I didn't release it at that time. That's what makes me mad. And that's what makes me so upset. If I would have released it and got everything I wanted to get out. And did what I had to do. I wouldn't be so upset right now. <laughs> I know I wouldn't. So sometimes you got to let people be mad. Be angry and get it out. Can't everybody hold things in. That's crazy too. They expect somebody to. And she got two babies. And I was saying this before. Like I remember when he used to talk to her about having kids and stuff. She had the first one. And then he was like, yeah, I want another one. I want another one. I want another one. And then he had the um, second one with her. And then he was still like, I want to try for a girl. I want to try for a girl. And it was like, now you got the audacity after creating life with me to, well, creating life with her to just up and leave. It feels like entrapment to me. Like... I can leave you with kids and then I can just dip out whenever I want to because it's hard for me. Everything's getting hard for me. I can just leave and the other parent don't get to leave. Somebody has to stay. So that made, I was mad for her. I was like, mm -mm. what we not going to do is create life and then be like, oh, it's too hard for me. I didn't think all this through and then leave. People is just crazy. It is so hard to give people your trust and everything when you you feel like they're gonna just gonna use you. Let me get to it. Every night, stargazer and hourglass. I think that's how it goes. But yeah, I was I'm upset for her. Anytime I get overheated, I always mess with my nose like that because it's like this part like itches so bad, but it's only when I'm hot. I hit my little mini heater going and it can warm up the whole room. You can get it at Walmart for like $7. It can heat up your whole one room so good, but I woke up super hot and like the room is trying to cool down and now it's like my nose is just like it's it's just itchy this is my coloring book my son was really into coloring and we um he take pages out of it in color but i've um like just bonding and stuff like we just started coloring together and like sometimes I'll color apart, then he'll color apart. Like we just started doing that. Cause again, it's like Bonnie, you just sit and talk. And yeah, find out what's going on at first grade. But um, I don't have 
have enough books for the last row. Need I get? So now I gotta figure out what to put all right here, which might be like my paperwork and stuff. I put all down here. But it's looking better. And then again, I have that space right there, just them two columns, but it still looks more deep and better. And then once I take this juice down that he did not drink last night and then wash that cup out, I just have this. And this is his timeout thing. Like this little sand thing. So when he's in timeout, he knows the term is over and he has to go sit wherever timeout is until it finishes up. I had a little one. It's in his room, but it finishes real quick. Hold up. But this one is the one we used. Okay, I'm back. I had to wash my hands because my nose is itching really bad. And I know if I put something cooling on it, it'll cool out. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'll show you the um, thing. Because I don't want to touch my face after I touch this stuff. So first, I'm going to use this little cream. I got it out of Dollar Tree. It instantly feels better. I have like this little rolly thing too that I use to like roll my skin, roll the moisturizer in. But I'm not going to do all that at this moment. I'll do it later tonight because I do this like twice. So this one was fairly dry already. And then I'm going to use this little serum it's vitamin b c e and that n word i don't know how to say it. i'm gonna squeeze the little thing it's a dropper and then i'm going to drop it all out so you can see that and then just Ooh. It burns a little bit right here because it's dry because I've been itching it so much. And then I'm going to take my other dropper, which is three lime blend face serum visibly enhance uneven skin tone for a more radiant complexion 98 percent natural i don't think it really does too much but um i mean you can see i've already almost used it up i don't think it does too much but it's nice i got a lot of stuff that um it's like a thicker type of thing and only like that much is coming out but, um, I, um, got a lot of skincare stuff that people raved about that I should definitely, um, just show you guys. I'll do that tomorrow because I'm going to do that show and it has my skincare and hair stuff there. I wish something else would come out of it. I guess that's about as good as it's going to be. And then, like I said, I usually take this, like, um, corpse thing and roll it up my skin. Does it do anything? I don't know. Is it really massaging? I don't know. My son says it is. And I don't know if it really is. I haven't put any of this eye cream here. And my skin is super sensitive. There's some things that I could put on my face that I can't put on my body. And some things I could put on my body that I can't even put on my neck or in my arms. Like, I've been getting bags too. I 
getting the proper sleep and because I'm just getting older and I'm using this thing it's a uh, mango butter and vitamin C under eye cream a moisture rich cream that helps improve the look of tired eyes I don't think it's gonna help me but it's nice to extra moisturize under there i guess and i think that's mostly what these things are right just like lotions extra lotion okay so this used to be what it was take five and like you know this was his thing but it's like only five minutes so say if i say oh you got an hour in time out since you want to keep being like that I gotta keep flipping and flipping and flipping. I'm going to see how long this takes. I just use it till um, it's done. And if he keeps being bad, I'll be like, you gotta twist it over again and sit down. Um, but yeah, this is the one that be in his room. And I got this for my son. Ain't it cute? But I don't know how this thing works. It's supposed to play like the song. And I got the song by queen Naja, mama tans i liked another song but that's the only song i could think of at the time when i was customizing this he don't appreciate this stuff and he probably won't he's only six he probably won't appreciate it till he get older but still it's there it's in his room chilling so i'll be back we're gonna finish this up and then go over there